Okay, so now that we've taken a look at Jean de Buffet's work, we know that he used very simplistic portraits, just like the blind contours that you made, uh, to create some really interesting patterns and color combinations for his art. So the first thing I want you to do today, take the blind contour face that you made last class, and before we start turning it into a du buffet portrait, I want you to just go back through and add a few things to finish off your portrait. So first thing you would probably want to add is a neckline. And a marker that's working well here. There we go. Some kind of neckline and then shoulders that go off the page. That's a standard portrait. Okay, that's what we want it to look like. Now, after we do that, remember the colors that we saw in Dubuffet's work were mainly red and blue. So we have red, blue, and then he also had several blacks in his work. So when we color in our designs we make today, we really want to focus on those colors. You can decide what types of shapes you decide to make. You decide what patterns you use with your lines. But what I want you to do is go through first and just break that portrait up into several smaller shapes, smaller areas. And you can do that however you like, whatever makes the most sense to you. But we want some smaller areas to work with. You also want to do the same for the neck, for the clothes. Okay. And I would even go so far as to break up some areas in your background so that you can have some patterns and some visual interest going on in the background of your work. If you notice, I'm making sure that whatever shapes I create go off the page. I also am going through and lengthening where my hair drawing was. Just trying to make sure that it creates full shapes all the way down. All right, so once you've divided your page up into several shapes, now think about how Dupay, Du Buffet created patterns. Use that same thin Sharpie and you can create some patterns with lines. You can create some patterns with shapes. Really anything that you want. And remember a pattern is just repeating or repetition of shapes, lines, and color and textures. So it is still a pattern if I am varying the size of those elements. It is still a pattern if I'm varying the direction or the thickness. All those things create patterns. Let's pretend I've done the entire portrait at this point. So now, once you've created your pattern, you will want to go back through and add some color. So Dubuffet's work mainly used red and blue. He also utilized white and black. So I would go through and just really focus on filling some of those in, creating some interesting areas for your faces and playing around with pattern and color to create some very abstract but very interesting portraits from our blind contours. All right, guys, I'm going to let you get started. I don't want to draw too much because I want to make sure that you guys have plenty of time to come up with your own ideas. So let's get drawing.